live from twitch.tv. It's Saturday night. Just getting my uh, stream manager up and running here. That is one big shiny bald head. Got some gunpowder green tea going. Is the mic on? The mic is on. Okay. And then. Um, let's load up the game, make sure the controller is working right. I was thinking about grinding out, uh, Human plus dying over and over, but uh, I don't know. Probably not necessary. Let's take a look at Thaddeus here. How's he looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's just uh, have a refresher here on the controls. Main system engaging test mode. Um. All right. So my right stick is not working. So. Yeah, so here's the weird thing. When I first load up the game, the controls don't work. And then I go to Configure, Controller, Plugin Settings, Pad 1. And I say, uh, hey, buddy, do the things I'm asking you to do. And then I go back and it works. Okay. Why? I don't know. Um, where's... what are you doing hanging out there? Alright. Everything's working. Everything's up and running. We're good to go. So I believe, uh, last time I left off at the, uh, train mission. How much money I got? Not a lot. So let's uh, just hop into. Actually, let me let me make sure my optional parts are on. I have the one that increases turning speed, right? Spaceport export escort. I can't every time. That's a tongue twister for me. Spaceport escort. System Alia base. So it's the one that kept giving me game overs. The one that ended up human plossing me. We Let's do this. Information regarding a planned assault on Vilhue Spaceport. The spaceport is the main hub for travel between Earth and Mars. One of our Earth government spaceships is scheduled to land at the spaceport. The attack is probably intended to prevent it from doing so. Thankfully, that was my empty cup, and not my one full of tea. Oh, what are you saying, buddy? Here, let's be risky. Press the, the button with the cup full of tea. Is of unknown origin, but it's assumed they were hired by one of the corporations. Yes, yes, yes. We must destroy anyone who attempts to destroy. So LCC, I believe Mars. they are fourth tier um, corporation on Mars. It's Zeo Matrix. Number one, Emerald is number two. Um, me when I live on Mars and Mexico, destroy my property yet again, right? So Zeo Matrix is number one, the big dog. Uh, Emerald is number two. Um, LCC is number three, and then number four is uh, I think it starts with a D. I can't remember their name. We want to hire you to protect the terminal. Maybe an S. I don't know. I'll know their name when I end up seeing it at some point. Provided with a support team to assist, you will be reimbursed, even if the planned assault does not occur. You have. All right. Uh, this is not the one that game over me last time. This is a good one, though. I, I think I, I did pretty okay the first time around. 
seems like everything here is normal. Let's go. Um, I'm going to do what I did last time, actually, and just hop on top of the, uh... Unidentified squad hop control. on top of the big tall tower. Attack. Defend the area from there. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Let's, well, let's, let's take these guys out first while they fly by. Alright. Up here. Am I, am I plonked? No. I want to plonk, plonk my beautiful body down here. And let's, um, get ready to fire. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Come on. Ah, they're this way. There they are. Tracking uh, isn't great on the cannon, but uh, ooh, the damage is. Who else? Who else we got? Are they all? They're all lower than us right now. Too far away. Are you gonna circle back? Yes. Circle back. Get in my radar. Come on. And welcome to Earth. Ah, uh, I'm like right on the edge here. Come on. I'll wait. Oh, did you leave before I? Uh last time before I added all the extra HUD. So yeah, in the, in the options menu, you can add like 5,000 different HUD elements. Um, so I did, and I changed the HUD to pink. Uh, which apparently is something I could do. All right, I see yellow, so, oh wait. Is there, all right, let's fend off these guys from the ground. All right, leaving area. No, no, I don't want to leave area. Which way am I supposed to? I can't tell on the radar. Uh, whatever, I'll just, I can see literally the map. Ah, right, I have to bunker down. I had my cannon on instead of my. Right, the bomber. Bomber, the bomber. Uh, which way is it coming from? Let's let's try to defend from up here, I guess. Hopefully it's coming from uh, west or east. Yes, it seems to be coming from the east. Come on, come on. Lock on, lock on, lock on, lock on. I'm on the wrong side of the tower. Not good. Running low on ammo. Was I successful the uh, first time I did this mission? I think I was. Armor. Come on, come on, come on. Not gonna lock on. Lock. All right, we're going. We're going up the tower. Yeah, I, I do have a habit of streaming late, so that's understandable. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna bunker down up here. We're gonna ignore everyone but the bomber. If I could find the dang thing, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm getting hit. I know I'm getting hit. I'm okay with it. This guy's coming. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Nice trajectory. Ready? 
Ready? Ready? Lock on. Lock on. Yes. I have three shots. Make them count. And then I have three shots of this. Please. One shot. Come on. One shot, one kill. Mission objective achieved. System switch yeah. to mode. That was beautiful. I mean, it was a little ugly, but it was beautiful. All right, sorry. Sorry, I need to move the mic whenever I sit. I made a little bit of money, too. Used every last bit of ammo. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend. All right. I probably read that the first time I got it. Assist Malaya Base. Is that the one? That's probably the one that uh, Human Plus to me last time. Let's spend all our money, even if it's something I already have. Um, let's just get money. That way, if we make it to New Game Plus, or sorry, Human Plus, uh, it'll just be inventory sat in our um, garage that we could sell. Um, $32,000. let us see what we got for optional parts. Uh, decreases shell damage. I mean, that sounds pretty good. That's why the optional parts aren't put on in the assembly. I don't know. Um, and let's just get to the Malaya base. Disorder units have been detected in the newly developed Malaya base. Located oh, this is not. Desert. This is not the there one that uh, Human Plus me. From. Disorder units aren't that powerful, but can pose a problem when grouped. Finesse is the key here, as the base must remain intact. We'll require a small, maneuverable unit. Don't talk about my maneuverable unit like that. It has been decided that a raven will best serve our purpose. Your mission, remember, this operation and the existence of the base are both... Malaya base disorder units. Eliminate all disorder units. I haven't got a uh, choice in the matter, have I? Oh, right, right. The uh, sort of units have high uh, energy resist. And I still don't have bio lock on. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Come on. Thankfully, I have the um, faster turn speed uh, optional part. I feel like that's definitely helping me. How many of these freaking things? This is where having a uh, energy sword would have been really smart of me. All right, there's one more behind me here. hate that the radar keeps, like, shrinking and growing. Two-thirds... 
out of ammo. So I need to be uh, really deliberate with it. So like one, two, one, two. Okay, there's... Seems like it's really hard to accurately count the ammo. I'll just go slow. Um, where are they all coming from? Is there like a, a mama back here that's spawning them? No. There just is a ton of them. So I, I know you think I'm leaving the area. I'm trying to gauge where my shots go based on distance, uh, since I have to manual aim. Crap. This mission's going to be a failure. Alright. Well. Yeah, like five shots. One, two, oh. And you. See a lot of red on my radar. Yeah, this is this is not a mission you want to go into with uh, machine guns for hands. And there's going to be no way for me to successfully do this now, because I'm going to be in the red. And when you're in the red, you can't swap out parts. Forty-one thousand in the red. Holy crap! That sounds like a good one. I believe it's at negative 50,000 you hit human plus. And I believe the next human plus upgrade, I looked into it before starting the stream, the next human plus upgrade is, uh... Oh, good. This weapon, I mean, this one, I can have less in the negative money, even if I spend no ammo. Don't get any damage and make all my money. But anyways, my next human plus upgrade is you get to throw your energy weapon, your your energy blade. I don't have an energy blade, so maybe I will be grinding out human plus. To the talent underground factory. They've come under attack by El the facility. Looks like an empty factory. But this is only camouflage. LCC's attack seems to have been prompted. LCC. Balena. That Balena and LCC are cooperating. Right, Balena is number fourth enemy forces in terms of uh, powerful corporations on Mars. LCC has been quiet up until now. But the facility is being guarded by one of our ravens. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into it. I love when the game has cutscenes. They always look so good. System engaging combat mode. The defense system seems to be out of control. Ignore the guard units and contact. 
concentrate on the enemy attackers. I mean, I know you say that. Can't remember last time how that went. You didn't end up doing all the missions in the game like five times. Um, where's the door? Over here, alright. Please hurry, Raven. I need assistance. Right, I remember this mission now. I believe this one I also failed on. These guys shouldn't be underestimated. Is there still a part down here? Your second time around? No. You can't get can't get multiple copies of the part. Okay. Fly down there. <laughs> hey, excuse me. What happened, fellow Raven? Mission complete, but I've detected a unit of unknown origin, a Raven. I'll destroy it. Boy. Boy, Ramila, the operation is finished. I didn't I don't remember this cutscene. Maybe I died before I got here. First time around. Interesting. So I assume you can't get paid on that. And you know, I've never really spent much time on Etsy, to be honest with you. Uh, development has settled down for now, and mankind is making new history on Mars. However, the existence of the corporations might ruin everything. Every Environmentally risky development and an excessive arms race are examples. If unchecked, it could be the repeat of the... Yes, we read all this. And we learned about Frighteners from Nell. Their aim strength and LCC. Dios Klein. How little money do I have? Negative 22, 980. All right. Well. Water generation plant. It's been 14 hours since we last received a transmission from the PAX water generation plant at Falna Creek. Satellite imagery shows an extreme temperature rise in the facility. Someone must be manipulating the control system in order to cause a reactor core malfunction. If the temperature exceeds the threshold, the water generation plant will be destroyed, halting the supply of water throughout Mars and damaging our corporate image. Head to the facility and stop the temperature increase by destroying the reactor core. We have already discovered who is behind this plot. Let's get to it. Main system. This could put us in the black if we uh, play our cards right. The reactor's core temperature is still 
Come on, come on, rotate, rotate, please. If you can get the cooling system to work, we'll give you a little more time. Alright, um <clears throat> something tells me I'm absolutely effing boned. here. It doesn't seem like there's uh, anywhere to go here. Oh, wait. There we go. What about down here? But oh, this red filter is uh, pretty turdtastic. I hate that the camera resets itself every time we go into it. And which way is up? All right, I think that's that's up. So if I go forward and drop down. Uh, that's upside down. This is right side up. All right. Okay. Only slightly annoyed right now. This is where I came from, right? No. That's the emergency cooling system. It should still work. Um. Let's take out these little guys. Um, this? Is this? Okay. Jeez. They could not have designed a worse map. I assume that will help me. Ah, <sighs> all right. Maybe I should drop down. Now let's go down this way. Seems much more intentional. Tell you what, if I do uh, unintentionally get a um, another human plus. I think I will grind out a couple more just to make it worth. Uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try to not. Really. Disorder units, destroy the control device now. Control device. Temperature approaching threshold. Hurry. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm hurrying. Hello. Unknown disorder unit. There's no data on its type or abilities. Destroy it quickly. We don't know what it is. Kill it. Um, please. Yep. There goes my hero. Dead as hell. Hmm. There it is. Human plus mode. Here we come again. Let me just double check. Armored Core 2 Human Plus Upgrades. So the first time was automatic radar. Second time, ability to throw the laser blade. Third time, have to heat taken away from attack. Has that ever been an issue? Fourth time, ability to walk while shooting back weapons. That might be worth it. Fifth time, use half of the energy. And then sixth time, double energy. And uh, I think there's a few more after that. So I want to get to at least four. So as lame as this is, Um, I should have zero dollars and zero cents. I, all right, five thousand dollars, and I should have in my depository one head, one core, one arms, one legs, no boosters, two FCS. What do I have two? Wide area single type, wide area multi type, two lock max. Oh, I think I, I think I picked that up. Uh, Human plus, uh, it's not bad. It's technically good. It gives you free permanent upgrades. Um, what's bad about it is, it kind of to me personally feels like cheating it's not cheating obviously it's in the game it's an intended mechanic but if you die and you go 50,000 credits into debt you basically your progress is reset to the beginning of the game uh, but you get to keep everything that you had as far as parts uh, in your in your mech so I still have a baller mech but now I have to start from mission one again um, but first time it happened to me I got an upgraded radar so I don't even need to buy a radar um, the second time it happens which is now I get to throw my energy weapon which I don't use an energy weapon so it's still not helping me at all um, the third time what was the third time third time also doesn't help if I recall third time has heat taken away from attack I don't build up heat I never that's never been an issue. So the third time doesn't help me. But the fourth time, ability to walk while shooting back weapons. That's going to be huge. So I'm going to grind out a bunch of deaths. And it's going to be really boring. And I apologize profusely. Um, just checking my depository here. Which is a weird way to say inventory. Uh, and this radar has done me no good because I can't lock on to the um, stupid little ding-dongs for some reason. So I think before... Hang on. Here we go. Rosa, how's it going? Oh, well, thank you for watching the YouTube VODs. 
good to have you here live. Um, so I'm going to swap out my FCS, because this one seems like it's better, just across the board. Four lock-ons max. Which one do I have equipped? Yeah, this one is the one I have equipped, so. Has a little more energy drain, but double the lock-ons. Lock-on speed is the same. Higher range. Uh, precision. I don't know if bigger is better or less is better. Reticle mobility. That sounds good. Um, and I'm going to not use the worthless radar. How is Phantasma? Hey, Meister, how's it going? So this is the one I just equipped. This is the one I, I've been using. So except for accuracy, this should be better across the board. And we're gonna get rid of this worthless freaking radar that still won't let me lock on to uh, um, the little dingleberries, whatever they're called, disruptors. You know, I, I was going to go and play um, Phantasma. Turns out the emulator I'm using, the, the save file type that I had played through the whole campaign on, uh, is not compatible with the emulator for transferring the save file from uh, AC1 to Project Phantasma. Uh, so, yeah, if I was going to transfer my parts, I would have had to have started AC1 from the beginning. I was like, whatever, forget it. I'll just go into AC2 now. I did, yeah. But there's, there's, I think, two different ways. Um, two different save uh, digital memory card, um, like, formats. One format is... <laughs> uh, one format is compatible uh, emulator-wise with uh, cross-save type stuff. Um... And then the other, the one I happened to be using, uh, just wasn't. All right, biosensor none. So I think no matter what radar I have, I think the biosensor on my head has to be um, a biosensor versus like a radar on my back or whatever. Um, Radar function, radar type standard. Well, let's just sell this, and then we can just compare in the buy screen. What's the most expensive head? I'm just gonna get the stable high-end head by has all functions low basics. This seems pretty good. One, two, three. I don't know what scanning interval means. The scanning interval, second from the bottom, is 56 versus 16, I suppose. Uh, I was using RetroArch for uh, when I was playing AC1. 
Um, wait, no. Uh, I'm going to go to interact. Comment to head parts. Uh, sensor interval. Time taken from AC startup to sensor operation. But that's not the same as scanning interval. So, oh, the uh, radar's information processing performance. What does that mean in terms of gameplay? But I, I so. What I'm looking for, Meister, is a head that will lock on to disruptors. And I need to know which stat will allow for that. Biosensor. Because I had a radar with a biosensor. And it showed up in the uh, in, in the radar, uh, you know, in the upper right. Uh, but I still wasn't able to lock on. So biosensor, I'm assuming now, biosensor on a radar is literally for the radar. <laughs> and biosensor for the head means something entirely. It's for lock-on. Yeah, okay. What? We just said the same thing. Perfect. I'm glad I'm understanding. I still understand what scanning interval means, though. <laughs> Radar's information processing performance. I'm guessing bigger is more than when it comes to processing versus um, sensor inter interval le lesser is more. You know what? Let's, let's just play the game. We'll figure it out. We'll do it live. Uh, so, yes, we're going back to head. And we're just going to pop on the most expensive one because... That's not you, that is you. And yeah, I don't I don't really need to see bio stuff in my little radar. I can just look with my eyes. It's, if there's something in front of me, I'll see it. Well let's just let's just see what we can spend our money on here before um, I grind out a little bit of uh Oh, this was a nice radar I just sold though. Um, so I'm going to spend my money just because I'm, I plan to lose it. So I have 11000 Is there anything I could buy for like 10000 I could buy the... No. That's not how numbers work. Just give me something cheap to buy. So that when I go into Human Plus, I... Uh, Side extension. I could just do like one mission and not suck at it to make a little bit of money and then spend it. So let's do that. Let's do one mission. <laughs> spend the money. And then uh, grind out some um, Cuban Plus. Scanning interval is how often the radar updates enemy goes a bad interval. Makes it hard to track fast enemies that you don't have eyes on. Okay. Right, so the lower the interval, the better, right? Every 11 ticks is quicker than every 30 ticks. Converge on the Raven. Make sure our contact is protected. Alright. I am gonna have to use my eyes to find this uh where's the truck? Is this you? Hey cutie. How's it going? Objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the hover legs.
my goal is to make a beast that can have uh, back-mounted Gatling guns. That way I can have real arms for melee and a shield. Or, I guess I should say melee or a shield. As we discussed last time, it's one or the other. Oh, I'm just here to spend money. Or what do we got for uh, left arm weapons? Oh, so close to getting this. Uh, let's... Actually, you know what? Let's get that. Let's get the um, radar. How much was it? How do you feel about this gen so far? I'm, I'm digging it. Um, the only real thing is, is I have a little bit of choice paralysis when it comes to shopping. Um, I get a little overwhelmed with all my options, and then like my first, my first day playing this, I spent 40 minutes just building my mech, which, like, it's cool, it's fun. Um, not as fun as using the mech. Um... Generator, radiator, inside, extension, back unit right, back unit left. Alright. Let's uh, lose all our money. We have that. I mean, I like the graphics, I like the music, uh, I love the voice acting. The story is just slightly more complicated, but I'm cool with it, obviously. I'm a big From Software fan. It's a Raven. All units, mission priority has changed. Attack. I get that. I get that. It, it is fun, but I lean, like, on the balance, I lean more towards having fun shooting things and watching explosions. All right, let's, um, just waste all our ammo. I want to go heavily into debt here. So waste the ammo and take the sh take the hits. And this is going to be a little bit boring. To the extent that I'm I'm wondering if I should uh like well the game uh, can I make it so that the game still runs when it's not in focus? Does it? Like if I click on this. Oh, so I can have like a second thing running. I don't have Minesweeper on this computer. Big oof. I did use the ammo, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, all the ammunition. Uh, the other weapon is an energy weapon, so I don't get charged for that ammo. No use uh, using it up. How come I don't have Minesweeper? I thought Windows, all computers came with Minesweeper. What else can I do? Let me check my Steam library. What do I have? That's like a little time waster game while I grind out the next two levels of... Uh, has to be a keyboard and mouse game because my controller is being used. Okay, I am locking up. Okay, right. I need... I can lock on now. So I have I have all the stuff I need. That's good. So we're going to hang out here. Um... Like all the games I have installed are... Games. Uh, I'm on the second one, which I, I finally googled it, and Human Plus 2, I get to throw my energy weapon, my, my energy blade, which I don't have, because I have guns for arms. Um,
Let's take a look here. I have Doom 2. <laughs> I have that installed. I can play that in the corner of the screen. Uh, will Vampire Survivors take over my uh, controller? Alright, so this is new. Uh, Human Plus 3. Uh, I, I did see that as well, Meister. Uh, I'm just wondering if it's worth doing. <laughs> like, you really want to, you really want to watch me do that? Although, it might go quick. Well, yeah, you got a point. Huh? AC detected nearby. Reefing. Ah, damn it, they found out. All right, let me All just see something here. The Raven. Make sure our contact is protected. Uh oh, hang on. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, windowed mode on. We're going to make this 720p. How come I don't hear anyone firing at me? Where's OBS? I'm gonna add. The game. Capture a specific window. Chop goblins. There it is. And let's make chop goblins. <laughs> All the way down here. Where should I put it? Where do you want? Put it like right above my head here? Just in the middle of the screen? What do you want to do? You're the one who has to watch it. While you wait for me to die. I know, right? Ah, the mouse sensitivity is way too high, but whatever. I'm just chilling. Um... Am I dead yet? Look sensitivity. Yeah, we bring this like down to like 0.5. Oh, good, I'm dead. This won't go too slow. Probably should have done a different mission, mission considering how slowly this one went. Huh? AC detected nearby. Raven. Ah, damn it! They found out. So, uh, have you seen Chop Goblins, by the way? All units converge on the Raven. Make sure our contact is protected. It's a little uh. Hang on, let me just do this. Ooh, actually, 
if I kill a bunch of the well, this will this will get me. I'm gonna say if I kill a bunch of these guys, I'll get an even bigger uh, penalty. But it doesn't really matter for the sake of this mission, because this this mission will get me. Uh, Uh, what I need. So Chop Goblins is a fun little, uh, half hour long score attack, kind of arcade style FPS. Uh, it, it is about, as you might have guessed, the Chop Goblins. Alright, back to the other game. We are... Can we, can we start again? So that's uh, Human Plus 4 I'm on now. Uh, definitely, definitely some, some OG Doom vibes. That wasn't, that wasn't the right enemy. He must have packed it. Huh. I haven't played since the uh, developer updated the game. Oh, I have new mail. Sorry, 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 sorry. So we are on, that's four, right? That's human plus four. Ability to walk while shooting back weapons. Let's test it out. Let's test this out. Main system. Engaging test mode. Oh, this is a game changer. This game changer. I like it. Destroy empty mission at the beginning can be done three times and kills you incredibly fast. If you want to save a bit more time, first room has like eight enemies in a small room. Um. Ah, uh, this one empty suppression. I know the one you're talking about, yeah, yeah. Engaging combat mode. The gates between blocks have been closed to prevent the damage from spreading. The other thing I might want to do... Destroy all MTs in each of the blocks. Doing so will open the gates one by one. Maybe I don't want to die right off the bat. Maybe I want to get some money on these early missions, which are pretty easy, and then just buy stuff. And then die on mission like three and four. I'm not too late for that now. <laughs> I'm gonna be deeply in the red. Yeah, I died as fast as it took for me to burn through my ammo. All right. Yeah. Let's let's close down chop goblins because this is going to uh, this is gonna go really quick now. All right. I apologize to my YouTube audience once this goes up. Uh, I will put timestamps in. In fact, I don't, I don't know how to like do those cards, those overlays, uh, or chapter breaks. I'll have to I'll have to learn how to do that so that. Uh, I could have a chapter break before this uh, Human Plus grind and after. So, Human Plus 5, which we're about to get, I use half the energy. 
Human plus six is I'll have double the energy, which what's the difference between using having using half and getting double? It's the same thing. Human plus armored core wiki. Um, this page doesn't break it down on a per game. So now I have I use half the energy. As Okay, repeat the, the cheat again. I hate that it calls it cheats. That makes me feel even worse. Roof radar, the ability to fire back. Limiter release. To shoot the laser blade, use it, then immediately press the boost button. Interesting. Main system, engaging combat mode. The gates between blocks have been closed to prevent the damage from spreading. Destroy all MTs in each of the blocks. Doing so will open the gates one by one. Yeah, this wiki page is not helpful. I had a light mech with the sniper that could fly forever after you get these upgrades. That's def- I mean, I am excited about being able to fly more. It feels pretty lame how little I can fly. So I believe we're at six. That that's our sixth human plus. There's no I don't even remember where I saw it that showed that you can go beyond six human pluses. Wasn't this I IGN wiki? Okay, there it is. Human plus upgrades don't stop after the sixth time. Repeat the process for getting the upgrades as usual. Between the seventh and ninth time, and the word for that, the eighth. Not only will you be able to throw your laser blade, but it will be a three-way shot. Also, there will be a missile display added to your radar. That's overboard. I don't need that. Hey, welcome back to Armored Core 2. <laughs> this is my first mission. this game any good? I haven't played it before. <sighs> Got 
Got to wait for this big long cutscene. But I'm going to go for the big money missions. And the Emerald missions are my goal. Units converge on the Raven. Make sure our contact is protected. Main system engaging combat. All right, so last time the, um, look at this booster. Hey, buddy. Oh, I was really hoping to get a flawless victory. One, two, two shots. Objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. You know, all those uh, Twitch streamers uh, playing this game uh, or playing the Dark Souls games hitless, I defy them to do um, armored core game hitless. So I did see at one point. Main system. Engaging test mode. I did see at one point. That. And now that I have the booster to go there. Oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Alright. There's a part up here. AC part acquired. What is it? I don't know. I wonder if AC six I'll have human plus mode. You know, I, I have a feeling uh, because of uh, all the online and multiplayer, Human Plus mode feels like um, something I can't see in a multiplayer game. Balancing for it would just be abysmal. Boy, the cannon does not track well. Okay, making a note, it's been one minute, one hour and eight minutes for my VOD. <sighs> what was that? It looked like a weapon. Nope. Nope. Radar equipped with biosensor. Not as good as the one I currently have. Great. Why is my why is my Y button not working? You not get oh, you have to be in the assembly to see. Assemble. Alright. Radar. Radar. What's... Yeah, the one I have seems like it's much better. Yeah. Okay. So we'll sell the ZRL. Extra cash. Um, curious. Let's save up the game and then do a little um, mech rearrangement here. My pilot's dead, so I have to rename him. Although the save file is still called Silas, 
despite the fact that Silas died. Oh, no. No, it's not. Uh, well, let's go rename him. Well, maybe since Silas... Th Silas Gilbert was, to be fair, my first pilot. Silas was my second pirate. Pilots 3, 4, and 5 didn't get names. Pilot 6, we'll just call... Uh, do you remember the movie du Duplicity, starring Michael Keaton? MK from Michael Keaton. Where? I hate this keyboard. Let's call him MK Ultra. The MK stands for Michael Keaton. At least Thaddeus survived. He's the one my heart truly goes out to. Um, what do I want to do? Yeah, let's let's save the name. All right. Now that I've lost all my viewers, let's spend the next 20 minutes uh, shopping, looking at menus. So I'm going to sell my back units. I think all of them. And my arms. Uh, and then I'm going to need to get new arms. It's an old movie. I think it's from like the 90s. Uh, Michael Keaton uh, gets himself cloned. And then the clone clones himself. And then the clone clones himself. And then the clone clones himself. Um, and unlike Human Plus Mode, with each clone, they're not improving. Quite the opposite. It's much more degenerate and broken down as each clone clones himself. And his wife is none the wiser. Hijinks ensue. Alright, so... What are some cool things our arms can do? What is extension TP? Do they all have it? They all have extension TP, so... Recoil control. I don't really care about recoil control, because my primary... Um, primary modifier will be my back-mounted uh, Gatling gun. Energy supply. Why does it have an energy supply and an energy drain? I'm wondering. Accuracy. You know, I'm going to quickly look. I'm going to quickly look in the um, manual at... Uh, What accuracy? If better, bigger is better. Um, just to be a hundred percent here, I don't want to go on hearsay. Not that I don't trust you. Accuracy performance when using a blade <laughs> is bigger better or no? Energy supply. Amount of energy supplied to the equipped weapon. Interesting. It's, it's just the user manual, and it's about as useful as an uh, old piece of wet paper. Because it does not tell me if accuracy is better, bigger, or smaller. So I'm going to trust you that bigger is better, because 
I mean, the more expensive one has bigger number. Um, so energy supply uh, supplies the equipped weapon. So let me get this right. Do these weapons draw power from the arms and not from the core itself? Energy drain 26, 42. So if I were to get like this special blade, that energy drain is 66. that I wouldn't be able to use it with an arm with uh, less than 66 energy drain. And do I want shield or do I want melee? I mean, I've been doing almost no melee, really. Maybe I want a shield. So like the, sh the shield alone drains 126. And if I were to put um, like a basic pistol next to it. Or no, let's do, let's say I want something a little nicer. Let's put this uh, machine gun. Now let's do, you know what, instead of machine gun, let's just look at what we got here. Very fast continuous energy gun. Okay. So what was the, uh, so this is 160 and what was the um, other one? 126 and 160 is 286. Do they even make arms with a 286 power supply? Uh, where was power supply? Where is power supply? One. Oh, right. Um, I'm not on real arms. Here we go. Uh, energy supply 84, 130, 100, 135. Okay. So I can't, I can't go like balls to the wall, mega shield, awesome gun. In fact, I can't even use that gun. That gun was 160. I literally have no arms that can use that, that gun. Let's just test it. This arm has the highest energy supply. <clears throat> right? There's no others. These are all guns in and of themselves. 130... 135. This is the highest energy supply. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to buy these arms just as an experiment. And then buy this gun. Uh, energy usage drain. Energy drain. Wait, what's the difference between usage drain and energy drain? I don't know. But this is energy drain 160. Oh, usage drain comes from there. Okay. So let's just see if I can equip. So I equip the arms, but I can't equip. Oh, I can. I guess I don't understand. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, let's buy a shield. And that, you know what? Let's go to the back unit. So that's really... This is my highest priority. <laughs> Are there any other chain gun back units? They're all missiles. This is the only one. And then I need either a shield or a melee weapon.
What should I get? Let's try the shield to start out. Um, back unit. Overweight. I'll deal with that later. Let's, um... How overweight am I? Seven hundred pounds overweight. Per arm, that makes sense, yeah. I know once you beat the game, overweight does not apply. Oh wait, let me just um, double check here. If I can get legs to carry 5637, let's see if that even exists. Uh, yeah, 5637. Ooh, okay. So, uh, chunky human legs. Not that I, I don't want human legs. I prefer the hover. These big guys. This hover boy. A lot of these hover guys can handle it. Okay, okay, okay. So it is possible. Hopefully it doesn't... I mean, with what I'm going for here... Hopefully I have the charge. Uh, the generator to handle whatever legs I'm about to buy. Turning speed is very important to me though. So uh, 5637. So these have a uh, turning speed of 484 and I can't afford them. <laughs> I can afford that's, that's a, why is this so cheap does it have like no no defense or something probably probably the case let's uh, extremely high load capacity that's kind of what I'm going for here turning speed 508 All right, it's not a hover, but let's see how it feels. Main system, engaging test mode. And let's try my back mounted chain gun. And how do I use my shield? I don't think I equipped it, did I? No, I did equip it. How does the shield get used? Let me just make sure I equipped it. Did equip it. So how do you use the shield? Do you have to, like, press something to use the shield? Oh, you use it. You use it the same as you would a melee. Okay. All right. Let's let's do that again. That makes a lot of sense. Um, and I'm curious. Pressing. It's it's really hard to see. So that's off. It's not glowing. How quickly will I take damage? Okay, and then I turn it on. 
it's not it's not using energy though oh maybe I'm really confused it's I'm taking damage and not not using energy Do I have to hold it down no this is definitely on like it's glowing see you could see it glowing but it's not draining my energy is that like a human plus upgrade? The fact that it doesn't... One might be weak enough to not drain energy. Oh, the... Um... The shield is weak, you mean? Like it's a crappy shield? Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. But I'm still taking... Hang on. I'm still taking damage, though. Even though it's on. Maybe I'm taking less damage. Can I still... Come on. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. I feel like... Yeah. Let me just <clears throat> yeah, support the mission. Okay. Using shields in Armored Core 2. Yeah, I'm not trying to mitigate all damage, but if I can mitigate some felt like that shield wasn't. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Questions about Armored Core 6. Alright. Are shields worth using? I'm new to Armored Core. <gasps> Me too. Shields completely stop damage until... Until their AP reaches zero. Huh. But only if you're hit from the front. Each shield has a defense rating. K-E-C-E-T-E. -E. Don't know what that means. Usually specializes in one at a crazy level. For example, the second K-E shield has something like six. Is this... Which armor? Oh, they're playing Armored Core Verdict today. All right, I have to, I have to refine the search... To have armored core two in quotes here. Yeah. Not finding a lot of information. Maybe. Maybe I'll just put on a, 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 a energy sword. Why the heck not? Do you happen to know where I find the best <laughs> uh, energy sword? Is the moonlight in this? Please, sir. Or madam. Um, where, where would I find that? Just so I can be on the lookout. Sir, okay. Laser blade. Oh, I can shoot my laser blade now. Maybe that's worth looking into. Laser blade. Uh, attack power 12, 20. Well, that's good. Energy uh, 12, 20. Which one? It was this one. What's the difference? This one has higher attack. But attack heat, but heat doesn't matter anymore because I'm human plus. Blade range. Oh, I need I need the range because my Yeah. Ah, I wish I had tissues down here. Hang on a second.
getting that typical middle of winter nasal drip. Mission is rescue research team. Find a hover platform that takes you down a hall. There's a breakable floor panel in the hall. Got it. Look at this freaking beautiful beast. I have never seen anything more sexy than that in a video game in my life. Alright, so if I find a mission with a hover platform... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's... It's nasty. Come on, let's, let's do some mid-air melee combat. Ooh. Ooh, it vibrates the controller, too. Oh. Thing of beauty. Oh, I didn't even bother trying to shoot the, um... Shoot the weapon. Uh, but whatever. This is great. This is... I'm hot right now. This is awesome. Michael Keaton Ultra. Let's go. Oh, interesting. They still call him Sortie in the um, in the save file stats. All right. We want to do Emerald missions whenever possible. Between these two, this pays more. Let's do it. Head to the old bridge in the Tread Special Environment Zone. The bridge is a remnant we have no idea. This area is very high. That is all. Alright. Get to the blade wave. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm hoping for. It's been an hour and a half. So when I make my, um, I'm going to start making chapters, I think, <laughs> on my YouTube VODs, because I feel bad for anyone who is bored by all that uh, menu stuff. Well, this feels like cheating, but, I mean, it's not, so... I'm not going to feel too torn up about it. Oh, thankfully, treads don't take damage in... Um, in the lava. I doubt they float like the hover. Uh, wrong button. Uh, I was trying to do melee there. And I have to adjust the dead zone. Alright. How do you shoot? They said you, you... You, like, do melee and then tap the boost button. Okay, got to do it real quick. Real quick, okay. Come out, come out wherever you are. I just want to play. Hang on, back up. Back up. I'm so determined to get this kill. There we go. Um, Macy's bread and butter is menus. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that. I've never played Mech Warrior. Uh, 
Treads do, hover don't. What, take damage? No last gen, this gen, you want to press them at the same time or be boosting before melee. I was, I was, I did like tap, 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 tap. Which maybe the game interpreted that as being the same time. Uh, LCC, I don't like you. Emerald, you're my guy. Let me just make sure this is not Emerald. All right. Mission Firefly. Oh no. We've arrived at the target area. Commencing oh no, this is the one where I have to find all the little freaking towers, isn't it? Oh no. Alright. Come here, fly boy. I have a feeling, um. Yeah, regular bullets are probably better for those types of, uh. Anybody else flying? Where are you? Barely see anything against the skybox. Oh, hello? No. It's, it's... There you are. Want to make sure I'm not leaving the mission area. Okay, I think I got all of um, those. I took out all that, so I think I could just... Um, can I melee this? Yes. Save all my ammo. Let's put on chain gun. Or uh, take off chain gun. This is that lovely mission. Alright, the energy blade doesn't really <laughs> help much against uh, the um, towers there. You, the bane of my existence. Quiet. Oh, I wonder, um, you know, those two, um, things on the radar are my guys. Here. So the only problem with the, uh, tank treads is I do a, a bunny hop, uh, when I first boost, which I don't really like. I prefer on the hover where I, uh, just glide forward when I hit the boost. So, I'm going to look into uh, a set of hovers. Um, that can do that. Actually, let's just go to the buy menu before we sell, just in case it's not even worth... Trust can't... Yeah, yeah, I, I like the glide. Um, so these are the only hovers, right? Bottom three. Uh, max weight, yeah, dang, none of them can carry my beefy body, sadly. <laughs> um, this is a hover, right? 39, or 72. 
Wait, so I thought you said ZLR are hovers. This looks like a hover. Is this not a hover? Or did you say something else? Let me... Familiar with the new mechanics like overboost. Makes being a... Oh, right, yes. Where you uh, tap in the R2... Well, yes, tap in the R2 button. Oh, okay. It doesn't have treads. <laughs> Where's its treads? I guess they don't show up till you're mid-mission. Or, yeah, uh, in the mission. Okay. I trust you. you. You've not led me astray. Before. Um, Alright, well, I have some money. I got two slots uh, for energy parts. Uh, this can decrease our energy weapon damage. Just cannon recoil. Energy weapon power. That's really nice. That takes six slots, though. I could improve my core to have uh, more slots. So I only get 10 slots right now. Reduces lock-on time. Ooh, is that for everything? What do I have left? I have three slots left. Would I rather reduce lock-on time? Or get better energy defense? Oh! This only takes one slot. Okay. Perfect. I can have my cake and eat it too. Um, oh, but I don't have the credits for it. Okay, next time. Um, pop that bad boy in. Mainly benefits missiles. Ah, yeah. That's cool. I'll, I'll take it anyways once I get the money for it. So, decreases shell damage. Decreases energy weapon damage. So that's that's the two. Increases turning speed. And then uh, once I get quicker lock-on. This is LCC. Diffuse explosives. This is Emerod. And I like have this one memorized. So. Been an hour 43 minutes streaming. And I bet you I will end right after the train mission. <laughs> Just like last time, and the time before. We've arrived at the target area. We've arrived at the target area. Main system, engaging combat. Um... So these guys have high energy defense, but I think I'll use up all my, um, you know what? Fudge you. I actually don't really need to defend myself from you, do I? I just need to, um, do that. Oh, I forgot my, um, yeah, I don't, I don't need to kill any. Except for the fire guys. One, two. Three. Four. Five. Now I can afford the quicker lockdown. Optional parts. This is energy used from firing. Disabling lockdown. That might be something worth considering if I die to a lot of missiles. Um, where was it? And then... 
really, what else is left? I have an end game AC, as far as I am concerned. I mean, the shop will unlock more stuff, but so I might get a better uh, energy weapon for my right hand at some point. I do like something like this, fires a decoy for enemy missiles. Oh, but then I have to use it, don't I? Or no, 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 I think you told me it was automatic. Dummy for enemy radar. I wonder if that's useful. I gotta get that Sawa. What is what is Sawa? Oh, Kurosawa. Right, right. Well, let's put this up because I have the money for it. Any bit of defense helps. Oh, I, I have to press L3 for it. That's multitasking and micromanaging. I don't know if I have that in me. Um, well, let's, add, let's add it to our guy. Like, how will I know when t when missiles are coming? It's supposed to just add it to your weapons. Let's say you toggle through, okay. Which which did I just put on? Insider extension. I don't remember. LCC. Emerald. Zeo Matrix. This one, capture cargo. I've done it a few times now. This one, I do not capture it. This is our first disruptor. Arrived at the target area. Leaving the area of operations. Well, I have it at least. I don't know if I'm going to find a good excuse to use it. Main system engaging combat mode. It's a raven. Move out. Oh, I guess I can just use. Go forward! Okay, good. Burned through some regular ammo there, but not a big deal. Took almost no damage. I, uh, well, I took some damage. Took more damage than ammo I used. How we doing? Let's check everything just to get it red. <clears throat> You know what? No, I'm not going to bother. I just, I want to start reading, I will need to remember to read the mail. Um, <clears throat> once I get to that mission where the big floating barge down the river, because that's read everything up to there. What do I buy with my money? Extensions have things like counter missiles and you can toggle them on and off. Okay, this is more my cup of tea. Anti missile. Uh let's see how this works in the Garage.
Curious how much of my energy it drains. Main system. Engaging test mode. This is my decoy dispenser. Okay, I see what it does. Is it only for missiles? Are these guys going to ignore me? No. I didn't see him shoot any missiles. That's kind of the problem with the AC test uh, range here is there's only two flying units that shoot bullets at you. Um, okay. So are there any other... Um, insides that would be like maybe the enemy radar one would be better off for me rather than the one that is a missile decoy decoy dispenser Oh, um, how much is it? 38,000? So, what did I buy? My current... 12,000? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, it literally says missiles in the description there. I see now. Did this, uh... Oh right, this has, um... Local PvP, this game. This uh this was before online, right? This 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 BF we oh, this one a few times. Basically, iced tea by now. All right, I need bullets for these guys. Fix my dead zones one of these days. Alright, let me just really quickly here. Configure, controller, plug in setting. Um. General pad <clears throat> controller x axis. Ah, oh, geez. 
Nah, I'm not going to do that on stream. It's going to take a lot of fiddling to get it right. I'm just going to buy stuff. <laughs> just have money uh, tucked away basically in the bank. Um... So does that mean I can only have one extension since it toggles on and off with the uh, L3 button? Um. Ah, crap. Forgot. There was a back unit I was interested in, but I, I can only have the one giant back unit, right? Did I get the email saying that I have more Emerald stuff yet? What is this? Pursuit missile, vertical missile, multi-missile, yeah, no. Um... Things are going good, so... I wanna buy something. I'm getting itchy having all that money just sitting there. Maybe I could look into a better core? These all have red arrows down, so maybe not uh, super useful. Eight slots, 21 slots. But I have a feeling this uh, has less armor, less defense, lower maximum weight. Yeah. 21 optional slots is pretty cool, though. Well, hopefully I get more... Um, more stuff in the shop as I go. Radiator? I mean... There we go. I have a radiator. I'm pretty sure it's literally useless, but let's compare it. Current, new, it's better in every way, but... Put it on. Slots is better than stats. The only thing is, is with, uh, all the stuff I got. Alright, this like my fifth time doing this mission. Um, the one very important stat is how much weight I can have on my core. Um, Seems like which I'll, I'll have to take a look at what my arms and back and weapons all and head all weigh. Um, see if I can get one with better stats that can support my hefty parts. Main system engaging combat mode. Ooh, the energy uh, machine gun does good damage. The fly boys, are they coming? Oh, yellow, yellow are my guys, right? There they are. Uh, where are you at? Death above here. Oh, freaking Crimea River lady. Where they at? Where they at? Okay. 
Come on. Come on. Front row. Okay. Ooh, maybe this, um... Maybe the decoy will be good for when the bomber comes. Let's place a bunch of them around. They blow up. Where are you at? There you are. mission is going very chill, I must say. Come on, come on. Come on. Mission objective achieved. I barely took damage. Good stuff. Ah, two hours. That's a lot of ammo. Once again, I'm just shopping to spend money here. Um, because there is no bank. Uh, escort train. This is the Omatrix, and escort train is probably not Emerald, it's a Balena. I mean, like, like clockwork. It's been two hours I've been streaming. We've arrived at the target area. We've arrived at the target area. Um, and this will be my last mission of the night. Deja freaking vu. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Enemy attacks can come from any direction. Be prepared. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. That's, oh, that's the thing that dropped me off. Okay, you know what? I, I have to mess with the freaking controller dead zone here. I'm really sorry. This will just be a moment um, for uh, L2 and R2. Dead zone. Right now it's at point two. Let's make it like all the way up to point six. See how that feels. Dead zone. And then I'm gonna make a save state just so um, you know, I can feel it out. Save state, slot three. Alright. Okay, this is this is better. This is uh, I'm not accidentally going up and down. Very purposeful with it. 
I think the robot needs more Gatling guns. I know, right? Oh, do you hear that? Turn the music up. So that's super big.
pilot so far. Probably has enough for six different uh, plus upgrades. Now, can I sell? If I needed money, could I sell? Uh, yeah, I, I probably. volume back down. It's the best extension, the thing that makes me boost backwards quicker. Why is that the best? Or is that sarcasm? Where? Oh, was it the garage? Is this where I um, did the cockpit arrange? Right, right, right. I'm going to turn off the... Oh, all my things were... Interesting. I want, I want all this off. Why did it get turned off? Alright, now let's save it. Hopefully that saves. Keeps it in front of you so you can't get their tricky back deck. Ah, I see. I'm just going to... Not going to save the game. I just want to go in mission to uh, look at my... Uh, just to look at my hut and how messy it is and marvel at why I like it so messy for some stupid reason. We've arrived at the target area, commencing AC drop. Oh, I gotta change it back to pink too. Yeah, this yellow sucks. I'm not playing Fallout New Vegas. Can come from any direction. Be prepared. Smell you later, nerds. Well, that's a night. Thanks for coming around. Uh, look for the VOD tomorrow, maybe, if I remember to get to it. It is the weekend. Uh, have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Peace.